On this video, I'll teach you 10 tips for teaching design online. If you want to see a change in the relationship with your virtual students, then this video is a must see. Hi, my name is Gonzalo Vainetti, designer, architect, PhD candidate with over 25 years of experience as a professor. This channel is all about design, sustainability, and outreach. So subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. During the last decades, we have all been evolving from an analogical to a digital era. Our environments have been transforming and the traditional way of doing and teaching design, to which we were accustomed, started to become obsolete. Methodologies have been changing and competences have evolved. New tools appear every day, obliging us to stay in a continuous education mode as professors. But until a few months ago, we had time to assimilate and adapt to changes. Now, with the COVID-19 lockdown, we were forced to change completely. I have seen colleagues, and me myself as well, have had a really difficult time adapting to digital ways for teaching design. With these 10 tips, I have implemented, my final results and especially my relationship with students have changed drastically. We are going to start with the more basic, obvious ones and move into the more complex, but substantial ones. Plus, there is a bonus track that could take your lessons to a cosmic level. Let's start. Number 10. Find a quiet and tidy place. Dress properly in order to engage with your students it's important you transmit them the confidence and respect you as a teacher deserve. Remember that even when you are an online class, the relation must stay the same. You are in charge and you are the role model. Number nine, be comfortable and ready with all you will need. Make sure your computer is at an eye level. Never have a camera level below your eyes. You're going to look spooky and your students will be on a diminished position. Make sure you have all of the materials you're going to use on the hand. If you're going to use physical implements and techniques, assure they are ready and that you can show them in camera properly. If this is difficult, use a pre-recorded video or a movable camera. Sometimes your phone could work better. Number eight. Become an expert in the platform you are using. Every institution may have a selected one, and they all have unique characteristics. Learn how to use them. There's nothing worse than not being able to achieve something due to a technical misunderstanding. Remember, on your student sites, you are the expert. For me, until now, Zoom has been the best one, especially because I can draw on screen meanwhile my students present their work. Do you have a better choice? Please leave it in the comments so we can all benefit from it. Number seven, be selective on what content you deliver synchronously or asynchronously. The way we have been teaching design has usually been in a workshop format. We are accustomed to interact with our students and their work. In the past, we had the chance to touch and transform their prototypes, help them by drawing in their sketchbooks, show them reference, do field trips. You understand the idea. Online, all that is gone. So make sure you separate the content that really needs guidance from the one they can follow autonomously at home. For example, they can watch a video by themselves and discuss it during an online session. Number six, create a website if your institution doesn't provide you with an online platform. There are several do-yourself website building platforms out there. WordPress will let you do more. Wix will let you do it easier, but not as complex. Both of them have free versions. I'll leave a link to their websites in the description of this video. It's in this website where your students will reach to find all of the resources you have been using in your lessons. I did this for the first time way back in 1997, and it worked until I was fired from the university for putting on risk the old dinosaurs. Probably, I'm a dinosaur now. Record your online classes, upload them to YouTube and make them available in your website or platform for students who couldn't assist or connect. Leave all the material they need online. If you do a website, share the link here in the comments for us to learn from your work. Number five, interaction was the center of our methodology for teaching design. And you should keep that on rolling. Make as much as possible so that your students take the center role of the classes. Make them comment and debate on their classmate projects. 
transmit the idea that the Your opinion won't affect adversely on your perception of the project, so they comment freely. Make them a leader during the class and make them feel important. If they don't connect and have a sensation of pertinence, you failed. Number four, encourage your students to use technology on their benefit. This new reality is here to stay and they're going to deal with it much more than you and me. Just as in number five, where they could become leaders of the class, they will be able to lead the digital transformation. Remember, they have been raised digitally. They know this new world much better than what we do. Give this space so they can propose and experiment with new technologies and methodologies. Number three, don't get obsessed with technology and still use the old prototypes, models, carbon pencil drawings, guache, or any other real technique. Technological platforms, DTP software, and apps are great tools but they lack the empirical learning, the experiential growth, the challenge they represent. Software solves you the problem. Physical media teach you how to solve the challenge. Besides, you can always digitalize the results and manipulate it afterwards. If you combine the two worlds, the results will be unique. Foment synergy. Number two, recognize and assume your students' limitations in relation to online access. Not every student will have the choice and possibility to have a good connection or the possibility to have access at this wheel at the computer during the class. Probably they will have a shared connection or a slow one and their possibilities are going to be limited. This means they could not connect or do so late. The chance they don't have a dedicated or isolated place at home are very high, especially with the whole family being retained by the pandemic situation we are crossing. This also means that students won't have the same access to physical material like cardboards or glue, either because they can't access the shop, the online store doesn't deliver to the area, or their family sustainers lost their jobs. So accept any material they can have on hand. Cereal boxes, pasta, homemade paste glue will work and at the same time you will be encouraging recycling. Also, take into account that not all students will be able to either have software licenses or their computers will be able to run them. Find alternative ways for them to acquire the knowledge they should be receiving. Design is about doing questions, doing relations and creating opportunities we have reached number one. Connect deeply with your students. If you are having a difficult time during this COVID-19 pandemic of times, they are as well. Open spaces during your weekly lecture so they can express their feelings. If this is not possible or they are not willing to do so, respect their decision and open a space outside of your fixed time. Make them know you are there to help them not just lecture them. Surprise of the commitment they will give to your course. Here comes the expected bonus track. 3D format. Don't ask for prefixed formats for your projects. If you need your students to turn in some research, analysis, proposal, let them decide what is the best format to present it. Videos, interactive media, virtual tools or others will pop up instead of a PowerPoint. Jump into the future. Do you have any other tips? Please share them in the comments and maybe I could do another 10 more tips video in the future. Do you have any other ideas for videos you would like me to do? Leave them in the comments. Remember, design is a collective enterprise. Don't forget to subscribe in order to receive notifications of my new videos. Ciao.